So the imperative for you as the government, before I go to them, is we cannot do this when the patients are dying. That's an imperative. Not as government. Me, I am just even talking as a, a human being, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Because as we speak here on this table, I am sure there's someone, someone who's dying. dying. This language you know? is so clear, Dr. The language is speaking. Is so and clear. it is not like come, we are not doing anything. We are really trying. You're not understanding the language of the government. Where is it? Where is, where, what are they not telling us on the round table tonight that they are telling you? First of all, I really appreciate my brother and senior colleague, you know, Sultan Zanu mentored me to the union when he was his, the SG, I was his right hand man. And he'd hold my hand and teach me these ways. So whatever I'm doing and I, whatever I'm going to say today is what I learned from Sultan Yatari. One, on the first interview that the CS of Health did, shows on this table, the, the clips. She said how interns are paid a lot. That's the first comment she did, and she suffered the wrath of the young doctors by that comment alone. It was before this December, January, this the year issues. So clearly she tells you the kind of mindset that people are coming with right from day one into that office. Secondly, is that as doctors, and I want this to be very clear to Kenyans, doctors are not stubborn people. Doctors are those children of yours you saw work hard, be disciplined, and pass KCPE, and go to high school, and you celebrated them. Doctors are those children who are so disciplined in high school, worked hard, most of them were captains, never went on strike, passed exams to carry them on TV, and ask them, what do you want to be? A neurosurgeon. These kids know nothing except discipline, and hard work, and endurance. So much so that after seven grueling years of medical training, where the only thing they do, eight to five every day, is study. They don't have long breaks to hear about. They're not taught about entrepreneurship. They only learn about the human body, how to alleviate human suffering. When they finally become interns, they spend 48 hours, 72 hours, doing nothing but alleviating human suffering. These patients, let me tell you today, Sultani in his office in uh, Ministry of Health, these patients, they, Madam Waziri in our office, cannot purport to feel this patient's pain more than me. Why? Because I'm the one who has seen this woman when she got pregnant on week four when she came to the clinic, and I promised her that I would deliver her. It's me who worry about her. It is me who knows this child has a conversion disorder, who I see every three months. I'm worried about that patient as I sit here. It is me who knows about this grandmother with diabetes who has sugars that are pro not properly controlled and I have to see her every month and her kidneys are going to shut down. And when the strike ends, it's me who has to look for them to sort out their failed kidneys and dialyze them or enjoy the pain of asking about her and I'm, then I'm being told that she died. I feel that pain more than people sitting in their air-conditioned offices. So nobody can come here today and tell doctors that they don't care. We care, and that's why we have been begging. That's why we waited for seven years for the CBA. That's why when we were given a promise one year ago, we sat for mediation for 13 months, not the 90 days we, are, we have been told. That is why when you read the ILO Convention on the right to strike and the restrictions on the essential workers, it clearly says, and I can share with you the booklet, that for the workers who are denied the right to strike because of human suffering and the essential nature of their service, whenever they have a dispute, you must sure that you sort it rapidly and you must have an impartial arbiter to do it. But more importantly, as they finish, they say that any agreement agreed out of that process must be implemented swiftly and completely to ensure they don't go back to threatening strikes. That's I look now which we ratify as a country. Let me ask you as we sit here today, what have the doctors not done? Even today as I speak to you, we put 19 issues across the table. We never received any counter offer. Out of the 19? We were told, give us your bare minimum. Mm -hmm. No counter offer, give us your bare minimum. We wrote another, another return to work formula. Gave a counter offer of 10 issues. They bounce it back again, give us a bare minimum again. We went down to five issues. We are still being told we won't talk to you until you call off the strike. So we have been negotiating with ourselves. 
And all you are saying is that, please, 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 Kenyans did not sign up for this. Patients don't have to suffer because somebody somewhere feels like they don't like how a CBA has been worded. We can, add, we can even say that, let's even put the issue of the internship that we can reopen it in the next CBA cycle. Because remember that uh, this CBA was run from 2017 to 2021. But there are clouds because the law knows that the employer can be very naughty. That if you don't sign a new one, this CBA continues to yeah. run. Mm -hmm. So when the CBA elapsed over one year ago, we gave a proposal for a new CBA and we wrote a letter telling that, please, let's have a discussion. If they knew that this old one was not going to be successful, they would have brought a new discussion then. But more important, that CBAs are like building a story building. When you build to the first floor, next time when you have to go to second floor, you don't build down first floor to build second floor. You build upon something. Because the salary they're proposing even to the interns is salary that was paid to doctors 15, 16 years ago. You cannot go back. But bigger than even the issues of the interns, there are issues that this people, government has refused to listen to. For example, do you know that as I speak to you right now, the healthcare workers in some counties are not being paid their January salaries? Kirinyaga have not paid their salaries, I can show you the letter. Yet they bought chairs for 700,000. Do you know that 11 counties don't have a medical cover for their doctors? The late doctor Steve Moguso died from COVID, working in a COVID center in Machakos. When she, he fell ill, he couldn't be treated in the same place where he worked. Where did he go to? To Kayole, to his sister's place, and he died. Without a medical cover, he had not been paid for five months. The day he died, the Mutai Kagwe was scrambling to look for money to pay him posthumously. Do you know that this year alone have buried four young doctors to suicide from frustrations from the workplace? Do you know right now, as we speak at Agui, the MTRH and KNH hospital run on the backbone of doctors who are doing master's training. These doctors, their fees have never been paid from 2018. They study, they work for free. And when exams comes, they are locked out of exam due to non-fee payment. Then the, the county is telling them that you have not done your exams, you have repaid the year, we stop your salary. I have not seen my salary for 17 months. These are the same, same people who work without a salary in self-sponsored. One of them fell ill when working in Kenyatta. She couldn't even receive the care in the clinic she was being treated in. In MTRH during COVID, the CEO told them that we won't give you vaccines because you are students, we are not our employees. They vaccinated even drivers before vaccinating the students. There are issues that you cannot reduce to just the internship. These are critical issues that unless we sit down and ask ourselves. What is the bare minimum that you're willing to take before I go to Dr. Tari? The bare On minimum this. we are willing to take yes. is government sitting down with us. Hmm. Which they have and done. First, they, have, they walked out. Well, no, and, and I have a letter I can show you actually. of the government saying that they will we not engage it. us any longer no, until we, we call off the strike. And the bare minimum we are willing to take is just sitting down. Government acknowledging that we agree there's a problem mm -hmm. and we are willing to solve Sorry, it. Too. And this is the way we will solve it. In the meantime, mm -hmm. we Go promise back. you yes. that this, in, well, they say that we are so essential and people are suffering. Mm -hmm. Patients have been suffering for the last 12 months when interns have been out. Yes. They account for 30% of the workforce. Mm -hmm. Now that we have seen our value, we appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Post the interns and tell them that we'll pay them from July when the budget comes. Come. One. Okay. Two, tell the doctors. Who, are, who don't have school fees and are working for free, that we acknowledge the work you do. The universities belong to government. We'll write to them to allow you guys to do exams and we'll give you a stipend mm -hmm. so that you don't have to work for free. That's three. Three, mm -hmm. we will tell the contract doctors who are earning a third of salaries, because now employers, the counties, have come with a very, very illegal thing and they court orders to that, that you cannot have two people working in the same department. One earns 200,000, another one earns 70,000. Same route, same job. Let the government say that as public service, we will not break the labor laws. When you employ somebody, employ them on equal terms. Mm -hmm. Finally, we are asking that please, on the issue of the money that is owed to doctors, you know you owe the money, treasury has said they have the money, the court have pronounced themselves of the money, let them go. The 2.5B. They, no, no, we are on 3.5B. 3.5B. There are small matter mm -hmm. that can be solved just by egos coming down. Okay. Nairobi County, NMS hired 113 doctors 
in Nairobi County. When their contracts ended, public service, which had hired them, when the new county government came, told what was advised that employees of NMS should be taken in on PNP. Mm -hmm. But you know what Nairobi County did? The insane choice to re-advertise. He's a doctor, he's a doctor. He'll tell you that doctors become better with experience. You can you'd rather re retain the ones you have, they have relationships with the system, than hire more. But okay. now we came to now know why they did that. Mm. When the doctors reapplied, the county gave slots to their cronies. Now you apply, you put your number, they're not calling them. Do you have half a million shillings? Women, our lady doctors, they're being asked for sexual favors, they don't tell us. We have the messages. Those are not factual. We can't These are factual messages, can I can show you. And them. that yeah. is why we are yeah. on strike. And that's why doctors are angry. Yeah. Because we believe that doctors' rights are equal to patients' rights. When okay. we say employ doctors,